everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel, Free and Frugal Friday. Let's get started. Want to tell you the most frugal thing I did this week was I made Greek yogurt in the slow cooker. It was so easy. As you guys know, there's a video on it. I'll link it below, but I have to tell you I'm thrilled with it. I buy this Greek yogurt at Aldi's. Two of these, each one is about $3.75. A gallon of milk at Aldi's is $1.38. And I also drained the whey off it into here, which I know you can use for other things, but I wanted to show you how thick the Greek yogurt is. Very, very thick, very creamy. This is the thing I like the best. A lot of times if you buy plain Greek yogurt, it tastes a little bit tangy, maybe even a smidge bitter. I'm not sure what words you would use. A lot of people like to add sweetener and add stuff to that Greek yogurt. With making your own, I haven't had to add one thing. I'm eating a plain without anything on it at all. And I think we would agree on this one sentence. The less refined sugar and the less sweeteners that we use, the better. So I like it plain and I think it tastes superior to store-bought Greek yogurt and it's simple to make and very low cost. So that's the thing that I'm really enjoying. Now, on to the other thing. My husband did the test drive for Hyundai. We're getting a $50 gift card in the mail, and several of you have told me that you're doing it, and also my husband enjoyed it. He thought the guy was really nice. Don't, we're not purchasing a new car anytime soon, but we really enjoyed the opportunity, and so that was lovely. Also, one of my friends was so kind, I told her I needed a cake pan and a pair of flip-flops. I didn't expect her to purchase those items for me, but I thought it was sweet. As you guys know, my friends are very good to me and spoil me, and I'm so blessed. She bought me a pair of cushy flip-flops, which I really like, and they're very comfortable. And she also got me a cake pan because my cake pan was getting older, so I'm really excited about that. Now, I have two, one other frugal thing I wanted to share with you, and then another, a confession. First of all, you guys know that we don't do our own home repairs. A lot of times if you go hire a plumber and such, it can be expensive. We have a friend of the family, his name is Bob, who I've known since my daughter's been a baby, who has done all sorts of work from us, from ceiling fans, garbage disposals, water heaters, some outdoor work, painting, uh, plumbing issues, think of it, that's what he's done. He way undercharges than what you would do if you were to have to hire these people from a phone book, perhaps. Uh, my dishwasher was not draining. I looked up online all the things you can do to troubleshoot that, and I followed all the protocol. I was unable to do it myself. Basically, the dishwasher had to be pulled out from be under behind the wall, and the tubes had to be drained out and cleaned out. And so, and I don't have the tools for that. So Bob came over to do that. I also needed some guts on one of my toilets replaced and then some, a little bit of outdoor work on one of the sprinklers. He did all that for $175. I know that if I would have gotten a professional to come in and do that, it would have been a lot more money. So think about that. If you aren't able to do some home repairs yourself, do you have any friends that you may trust to come do a job for you that they can make a little extra money but yet you're not paying as much for a home repair. It's just something to think about because not all of us are capable of doing all the home repairs. We might not have the equipment. So that's something to think about. Now on to another subject before signing off I wanted to approach with you guys. I did a recent thing about me um, telling, showing you a picture of me when I weighed in the 170s. I want to tell you, since I did that video, I have felt so fantastic. I'm eating modified paleo, which is what I did to maintain my weight for a while. I am back to my old self. I've also dropped some weight. I'm feeling good. With that, though, comes a higher grocery budget. What is healthy to one person may be different to another person. But for me to feel my best, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and that is how I get my energy and I feel really good when I'm eating that type of food. So my grocery bill is higher. This week my grocery bill was $113. I know it's more but I'll use everything that I bought so I don't actually feel bad about it. I'm eating a lot less packaged food, a lot less refined sugar, a lot less everything and for me 
the main thing for me is the less grains I eat in my diet, refined grains, cereals, granola bars, the healthier I feel, the better I feel. The more fruits and vegetables I eat, I have the, so much energy. So I wanted to share with you guys that we may be upping our grocery bill for a healthier me. Let me know if any of you guys have done that. Where your grocery bill may be a little bit higher because you are eating more fruits and vegetables or you're eating some less refined products and less packaged things. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.